She could fit in the palm of my hand. Maybe one of the smallest animals I've ever seen. It was a hundred degree day. She had been found under a truck. Within just a few days, she really started attaching to me. My little sweet D. We were just really attached to the hip. We spent pretty much every waking moment together. Such a diva. Oh my gosh. Okay. Probably the first time she saw grass was when I would take her to the park. She was a little skeptical. Also really, really little, so the blades of grass were taller than her. She would only venture so far before she would realize that she was too far away from me. Oh man, okay. Do you wanna go play? Oh my God, okay. All right. Week six and seven, if I walked two feet away, she'd be right behind me. And then I would walk a few more steps away and her eye would be caught by a fly or a worm and go chase after it. She's going nuts. Good job, little girl. And that's really how she started getting more acclimated with being a chicken. It took some coaxing, but she pretty quickly realized that outside was her favorite place. It took a couple weeks for her to really feel comfortable in going off on her own. I would eat lunch at the park with her every day. She, you I deserve this that. more than anyone I know. She is funny. She would just flop to the side, stretch her wing up, and just bask in the sun. <laughs> oh, is it so nice in the sun? She had so much fun with the xylophone. She really got into it. She was always messing with things. She would follow my mouse as I would move it across the screen. My cat, she ran the show. She really is so sassy. I mean, she has so much personality. She really wants to be part of the action. Oh my goodness. your friends so it was what was best we can't have a chicken in our apartment I recognized that it was definitely time for her to be introduced to her herd I do go visit her at least once a week when I go to volunteer at the sanctuary I would bring the tapestry and take her out of the enclosure to give her a little bit of a break. She'll come and jump on my lap and hang out for a little bit. She really is thriving. That's your friend. She loves being around other chickens. I don't think anyone could have expected her to be this sassy and hilarious. She's definitely still a queen bee. She definitely still gets her way. Yeah. We're just best friends.